Hi guys, this is Cammy. I am sorry I'm not going to show my face in this video because I have really bad allergies and my eyes are red and puffy and I just don't look good. However, I really, really, really wanted to make this video and it's a DIY, so here I am. So for this DIY video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make this really, 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 really super cool phone case, secret phone case book thing that I'm like literally so excited. Okay, so when I saw this idea, I'm like, I literally knew make this and then I had the idea of making a video on it. So that's exactly what I am doing. So this is just for school. Well, I use it for school, but you can use it basically anywhere. Like, I don't know, if you're around the house and your parents still need to read and something like that. You just take that out, but your phone is there, but you can keep doing that. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, I use it in school. I, like, use it to read because I have a lot of books on my phone, but I can't use my phone in school, so, yeah. Um, honestly, everyone thinks it's, like, so cool, or at least the people I've told about it. They think it's really cool, and... I think it's a pretty cool idea as well. I don't know about you guys, but you can literally do anything on it and you can go on your phone in school and not get it taken away. So that's pretty cool too. So I decided to make this video and teach you guys. So now I'm just going to get right into the video before I keep rambling. Okay, so to make this, you are going to need glue, a brush, an exacto knife, a book, and your iPhone or phone. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is clear the area where you're going to work and leave only the book. Okay, so now that you have your book, you're going to take it and select a couple of pages from the beginning of the book. Duh. And those are the pages you are going to use to like make the book more realistic and more like a book. And those are also the pages you are not going to glue. Okay, so now that you have taken a bunch of pages, you are going to take them and separate them from the rest of the pages that you are actually going to glue and cut. Okay, now take your phone, put it on top of one of the pages, and center it. Okay, now take a pencil, a pen, a mechanical pencil, a permanent marker, whatever you have, and trace the shape of your phone on that page. When you're done tracing the phone, put it away and take a ruler and just your exacto knife and start cutting away or just like cutting along the lines that you have traced. That's what I meant. Here's a tip, do not use one of those flexible rulers because that's what I used and I was having a lot of trouble. When you're done cutting along the lines of the shape of the iPhone you have traced, you are going to take the pieces you have cut out with the X-Acto knife and just take them. That's the best way I can explain it, sorry. But that's basically what you're gonna do and you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. You have taken all the pieces you cut out. You can take the last page that has a hole and use it as a guide for the rest of the pages. When you're done cutting enough pages for your phone to fit in and not fall out, you should have a mess like these. And remember, you want to cut enough pages for your phone to actually fit in and not be noticeable that there's like a phone or something inside the book for like when you close it. Then that mess you made, just put it to one side and keep working on your book. Now you're gonna take the book, the glue, and the paintbrush which you're going to use for the glue. Yeah. And you are going to glue all of the pages together one by one. And this took such a long time, but it was worth it. It was really worth it. And I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it, so yeah. Here, I just went all the way to the back of the book and started putting glue on the page, which was not the smartest idea I've ever had in my whole entire life. But then I actually thought a little bit and used my brain. But right now, I'm just spreading the glue and just gonna put all 
the pages together. Well, just that one that I'm doing, but yeah. So when I was done with spreading the glue, I just took the page and put it there and I went with my hand just to remove all the bubble thingies. And then I actually used my brain, here is where I used my brain, and I decided to put some glue on the pieces of paper I had cut out before. And I started taking glue from there and I didn't waste so much glue. And I just keep doing the same thing to all of the pages and they were around 200 pages or maybe less, but I don't know. So just keep repeating the same thing. I think I'm just gonna fast forward in here. Maybe. I don't know. And I did. When I was done putting all the pages together, I went to the side of the books or the pages. I do not know how that's called, but I started putting glue there as you can see and I went around the book and I just kept doing that just to make it a little bit more secure and don't worry on getting book on the cover thing doesn't matter it's gonna dry anyway so now after you have done that just let the book dry and then there's your end result you can use it anywhere and anytime you want you're welcome I hope you guys like this DIY and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!